Hi everybody, this is Tom Peterson, and I'm back in the NVIDIA GeForce Tech Marketing Lab. And a couple days ago, I posted a video on GeForce GTX 650 Ti, where I asked you to ask me a couple of questions on Facebook and Twitter. And you guys have done that, so I went out and looked at the questions, and today I'm going to answer the top few. I'm not going to answer any questions about my hair, or my beard, or my eyes, but I will answer questions about GeForce GTX 650 Ti. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. First question, what does Ti stand for? TI is inspired by titanium, and titanium is a very durable light metal. It's stronger than steel, and we use that to tell you the products that are the TI products are actually faster than the stock products. So as an example, uh, the GTX 650 TI is about 40% faster than the GTX 650 stock model. Next question, can it play Crisis? That question always comes up on almost every GPU launch we do. The answer for GTX 650 Ti is that it absolutely can play Crisis. As a matter of fact, at 19 by 10 with 1x1x on Crisis Warhead, it will run around 96 frames per second, and uh, Crisis 2 will run around 43 frames per second for very high settings. So absolutely crank it up with Crisis, and uh, you'll get a great experience. I currently use a GTX 560 graphics card that needs to be replaced. Would there be a noticeable difference if I replaced it with a GTX 650 Ti? Uh, the 650 Ti and the 560 are going to trade blows with performance. On older titles, the 560 is probably going to tend to win. On newer titles, the 650 Ti is going to tend to win. So I'd say they're very close. What is different is the 650 Ti is going to be running about 90 watts less than the 560. So at the end of the day, it should be a nice experience benefit. But really, they're going to be very close on performance. What's the point of supporting four displays if it only has three display outputs? A great question. The card you're referring to is called a reference design, and that's the board that we build uh, to send to our partners and press to show how the chip works. But the truth is, the chip has four display outputs because our board partners are going to build all kinds of different variations. As a matter of fact, today, there's at least three or four different variations of boards that all have four outputs. So we build a chip, our board partners figure out what's best for their markets. Why is the clock speed higher than the 660 Ti? The GTX 660 Ti is based on the GK104 chip, whereas the GTX 650 Ti is based on the GK106 chip. Now the difference between those two chips is that the GK104 actually has more SMXs than the GK106. That makes the chip bigger, which can also sometimes make it a little bit slower. So while the GTX 660 Ti actually has a lower clock rate than the GTX 650 Ti, it actually has much higher performance. And last question, can I have one for free? Dara, that is an excellent question, but I gotta tell you the truth, right now I'm not giving away any for free. But if you check back on our GeForce Facebook page over the next couple of months, you'll see some cool stuff that we're doing. Maybe you can win one there. Also, I'm going to be heading up to uh, Portland at the end of this month to be with my friends at PDX Land. I'm going to be giving away a bunch of graphics cards, probably including some GTX 650 Ti's. So come on up, visit us in Portland, and you'll get plenty of chances to win there.